The race is on to save the iconic Portland Marathon. Today, the Portland Bureau of Transportation sent three proposed routes to race director Les Smith. He has until July 17th to choose one so the race can go on as scheduled. KGW's Art Edwards joins us live from Southwest Portland tonight. Art, the city thinks they've come up with something that can work here. Yeah, you know, they really do think that, and part of it includes finishing here in downtown Portland, right behind me at Southwest 3rd and Salmon. You know, everyone, it seems, wants to have the 46th annual Portland Marathon go off without a hitch on October the 8th. Coming up with a plan to succeed has not been easy. The city contacted race director Les Smith right after last year's marathon about the need for change. After months of no communication with Smith, the city denied the race permit, saying there were not enough police officers available to patrol the original route. The denial is now on hold, and the city sent three route proposals to Smith. The marathon really wanted a start and finish in downtown. They also wanted to get the St. John's Bridge, and also the third item that they had talked about was the views from the Willamette Bluff. All proposed routes run along Highway 30 and cross the St. John's Bridge. One route would have runners go into St. John's. Another has them turn around at the end of the bridge and go back downtown. The third has runners turn around in the Willamette neighborhood. All three start and finish downtown. We reached out to race director Les Smith. He declined an on-camera interview. He says that he will review the options, show them to runners before making a decision. The city says the decision is due by July 17th. I think we've come up with three routes that are good routes that, uh, that uh, again, like I said, balance the needs of the marathon and the needs of the, the city and traffic and transportation. So, yes, yeah, so I think on our, on our end, we feel confident that this can work out. Now, marathon officials also have to approve the city's medical plan for the event to go off. If you'd like to see the detailed routes, you can go to KGW.com. We have them posted there. Back to you.